He bullied Mike Tyson at school. I went into the ring and I busted him up. Then they met in the pro ring. On July 21st, 1989, in the vibrant city of Atlantic City, a 23-year-old Mike Tyson entered the boxing ring with a score to settle. His opponent was none other than Carl The Truth Williams, a fighter with the audacity to have bested a 15-year-old Tyson during a sparring session, an anecdote he later often boasted about. I went into the ring and I busted him up. But before we get into the heart of their iconic clash, let's set the stage. Months earlier, Tyson, then perceived as the invincible champion, had shown signs of vulnerability in a less than convincing victory against British heavyweight Frank Bruno. He knows he's in with the ball. Tyson gets nailed with a left hook. Tyson looks wobbly as he attacks Bruno. Bruno. Many attributed this chink in Tyson's armor to the departure of his longtime trainer, Kevin Rooney. Meanwhile, Williams was on the ascent having first made a name for himself in July 1985 by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with then-champion and boxing legend Larry Holmes in a close 15-round battle, albeit in a loss. Experts had already noticed Williams's vulnerability to left hooks, a weakness exploited in his second loss to Mike Weaver in February 1986. Our protagonists had first crossed gloves by chance at the behest of Tyson's great first coach, Custy Amato known for his savvy in arranging sparring matches with various fighters. A sprightly 16-year-old Tyson brimming with potential faced off with Williams, a plucky New Yorker, six years his senior and already a professional boxer. In those sessions, the more experienced Williams roughed up the young Tyson, memories he later recalled with a smirk. At a time when Mike Tyson was a 17-year-old amateur and Carl the Truth Williams was a 23-year-old professional with 11 bouts under his belt. In most of the videotape footage we've seen from those sparring sessions, Williams was able to control Tyson with his jab and occasionally landed... He jumped on me that particular day, gave me a bloody nose and everything. You know, I was a little, um, it shook me up because I was a professional with seven, eight fights. And I was saying to myself, oh my God, I gotta let this amateur come in the gym and do this to me. So I got very angry that night. I went home and thought about it. And the very next day, <laughs> the very next day, I came in the gym with a different attitude towards him. I went into the ring and I busted him up. However, that green boy grew into the most fearsome boxer of the time, an absolute heavyweight champion and a global superstar. Tyson, relishing the chance to square off in the ring against his former sparring partner, readily accepted the match. It was more than a fight. It was an opportunity for retribution. The decisive blow was a left hook. The matchup was intense from the start, with Williams boldly attempting to wrest control from a visibly irritated Tyson. But it didn't take long for Tyson to assert dominance. A mere 93 seconds in, a devastating left hook, Williams' Achilles heel, landed squarely on his jaw, crashing him to the canvas with balletic poise. Astonishingly, Williams rose promptly, but a visibly shaken referee swiftly halted the match, granting Tyson a victory by knockout. Stoppage sparked protests from the crowd, with Williams and his coach, Carmine Graziano, the loudest among them. They expressed disbelief at referee Neumann's decision, who feared Tyson's blow had caused a concussion. Neumann later justified his action, asserting that Williams didn't seem ready to continue. Neumann, a former heavyweight himself, stood by his call, saying if Tyson were in Williams' place, the fight would have been stopped just the same. When he got up at eight, he was wobbly. He wasn't standing up. He was leaning against the ropes. I asked him a question, a very simple question. How do you feel? Not for the answer, but to see how he responded. His eyes were blank. His expression was blank. He had no answer. Is there any, is there any chance that he misunderstood what you wanted him to respond to? I don't think so. Let me tell you why. He's had a lot of professional fights and a lot of amateur fights. When a fighter is knocked down, and I had 38 fights, 
When a fighter is knocked down, the first thing he wants to prove when he gets up to the referee is that he's in good shape. Number one, he wasn't standing on his feet. He was leaning on the ropes. Number two, he couldn't answer me. And number three, his eyes were dead. Thank you very much, Randy. And Tactics aside, Williams managed to avoid Tyson's explosive flurries using a left forearm to check his advances. However, Tyson appeared more composed than in his previous fight with Frank Bruno, delivering precise, powerful shots, finally catching Williams' chin with a punishing hybrid of a hook and uppercut. Williams, although clearly shaken, claimed he was far from knocked out. I stood upright, Williams later expressed discontentedly. Yet the outcome remained unaltered. A knockout victory for Tyson, a score settled, and a night that left the audience craving more than a 93-second title fight. What happened in, from your point of view? Did you see him really dazed? Well, no, I, I, my, I noticed my trainers were telling me we were slipping and hooking. So we slipped, because usually I come in, I slip, and I get in there, and that's the hardest part, is getting in there, and I never threw the punch. And so we're practicing, like you slip, so you're in there. Instantaneously, bing, throw the punch. And I did, I was successful. What? Were you surprised that he stayed as on top of you as much as he did, that he didn't try to move? Oh, I loved it. I loved it. I just knew it took it just for a matter of time. I loved it. So you knew that as soon as he was doing that, that you were going to get a clean shot sooner or later. Exactly. And my punches were accurate and pinpoint. And I knew eventually I was going to get him. He, had a re he has a reputation for getting hit with left hooks. Were you looking for that opening? No, um, I was very confident. I wanted to hit him, catch him with a good right hand. Um, believe my right hand is my favorite punch, but I never, I never catch anyone with it. You know, it's my best punch, and I always hit guys with left hook. All right, we're going to try to take a look at the, uh, Where's the monitor? At, the, at the monitor, if we can find it, so that we'll, we can determine what happened. Champion number. All right. Uh, okay, it was a clean left hook. Did you, I mean, you, you, you sparred with him years ago. We know that it didn't mean anything. Uh, were you surprised that he went so fast? Well, no, I knew if I catch the one clean, they'll go, regardless who they are. Mm -hmm. But you know, when the, when the referee, um, he hit him with a shot, it looked like he was able to get up, but I guess the referee called what he saw, because I didn't, I didn't think he was hurt that bad, but I knew I hit him with a clean shot. Speculate for me, how long would it have taken you to get him down a second time if the fight went on? Oh, no problem, I'd have been all over him. Maybe it's better that the referee did stop early. I would have been all over him. That's when I'm most dangerously, when I know I have someone hurt. You've, you've talked about being in control of your career. Uh, tell us what you think is next. Who is next? Well, I'm just taking it one step at a time. I'll fight anybody, you know what I mean? I don't discriminate from anybody. I'm the best fighter in the world, and there's no man that all can right. beat me. champion of the world, Iron Fight Tyson!